Company Alpha and Company Bravo had the following characteristics shown on the screen. Company Alpha purchases Company Bravo at a 20% premium. Assume this is an off-stock deal. What is the accretion dilution percentage? Pause the video and do the following. Like, subscribe, buy my books. Links in the description below. Attempt this question yourself before moving on. Company Alpha's standalone earnings per share is $20 a share. It's going to cost $36 to acquire Company Bravo. Company Alpha will have to issue six new shares in an all-stock transaction. Therefore, the pro forma share count is 16. The pro forma net income is $400 divided by the pro forma share count of 16 shares. And this $25 of pro forma earnings per share. This represents a 25% accretion percentage. In the next piece of the video, I'll show you how to do this in Excel with the keyboard shortcuts and without the mouse so that you can be efficient and effective with these calculations. I've added Microsoft Excel to my taskbar. To open it, I simply press Windows key 4. I highly recommend adding it to your taskbar. When you get to this menu, press Enter. Alt W is in Whiskey, V is in Victor, G is in Golf. Let's remove grid lines. Alt 6, since it's a quick access shortcut on my quick access toolbar in Excel, Alt 6 will allow me to change the name of the tab. I'll call this Cretion Dilution. And I can put space in there. Shift spacebar to select the first row. Control B is in Bravo, U is in uniform to have that bolded and underlined. Let's get into it. Of company Alpha and Bravo. Alt Niner to make that blue. Hard coded values will be in blue. Black will be formulas. So I'll have net income. Control C is in Charlie. Control E is in Victor. C is in Tango. Let's copy the formats. Control A is in Alpha. Select the whole tab. Alt O is in Oscar. C is in Charlie. A is in Alpha to fit the columns. Net income will be 200. Again, Alt Niner to make that blue. Alt H is in Hotel, A is in Alpha, N is in November to make that a currency slash accounting format. I'll set Bravo 3 equal to Bravo 2, so Company Alpha and Bravo have the same net incomes. Control C is in Charlie. Control E is in Victor. C is in Tango. To copy that, Control A is in Alpha. Function F7 to do a spell check. Share price will be six and five. Control C is in Charlie. Control V is in Victor. C is in Tango to copy format. And then I will have the shares outstanding. Control A is in Alpha. Oh, o is in Oscar, C is in Charlie, A is in Alpha to fit the columns. Control C is in Charlie, Control V is in Victor, T is in Tango to copy and paste formats. F7 to do a spell check. There'll be 10 and 6 for the share count. Alt Niner to make those blue. So I'll have Company Alpha Standalone EPS. Alt O is in Oscar, C is in Charlie, A is in Alpha to fit that. Control C is in Charlie. Control Alt V is in Victor, T is in Tango. Spell check with F7. The standalone earnings per share of Company Alpha 
is simply its net income divided by shares outstanding. So Company Alpha has a standalone earnings per share of $20. All it owes an Oscar season, Charlie. W is some whiskey to change the column with. I'll make it one. Spell check with F7. And then we have to figure out the purchase price of Company Bravo. Control C is in Charlie, Control V is in Victor, C is in Tango. Spell check, Control A is in Alpha. Alt O is in Oscar, C is in Charlie, A is in Alpha. And we need to know what the premium was. Premium to buy company Bravo. I want to make this consistent. So I will make these lowercase letters. Function F2 to enter. And then control enter if you want to enter without moving cells. And the purchase price of company Bravo is going to depend on the premium. So the premium is 20%. I'll not to make that blue. Control shift five to make that a percentage format. Alt H's in hotel zero twice to bring that out to two decimal places. The purchase price of company Bravo can be calculated with a product function. It's going to be the share price times the number of shares outstanding plus the sum of one and the 20% premium. That gets us to a price of $36. Alt H is in hotel, A is in alpha, N is in November. Shares issued by company Alpha, that's the next thing. All O's and Oscar, C's and Charlie, A's and Alpha to fit that. Spell check with Foxtrot 7. So it's just going to be the purchase price divided by company alpha's uh, market price. So company alpha has to issue six shares. Of another row called pro forma. Control C is in Charlie. Control Alt V is in Victor, T is in Tango. Control A is in alpha. To fit that auto sum with the alt plus as a pro forma net income uh, if the deal goes through $400 pro forma share count so that's going to be the sum of company alpha's shares plus the new shares it has to issue. So now you can see the pro forma share count is 16 shares. I can delete this row. Control spacebar to select it, control minus to delete it, or rather that column. 
There's a column I deleted, not a row. And what you do then is you say, what's the accretion dilution percentage? First of all, you can do accretive or dilutive. That can be a, a, a row. Control A is an alpha, O is an Oscar, C is an Charlie, A is an alpha. You do an if statement. Equals if the earnings per share of the pro forma company which is $25 per share, 400 divided by 16, greater than the standalone EPS, we're gonna say accretive, otherwise we'll put dilutive, Earnings per share of the pro forma company, by the way, is just Bravo Ford divided by that. Net it, pro forma net income divided by pro forma shares outstanding. So that's 25. And so I can go in and change this function up to, and I can say, if, Echo 4 is greater, and then you can say accretion slash dilution percentage. Control Alpha, all O is an Oscar, C is an Charlie, A is an Alpha. Spell check to check that. Just do Echo 4 divided by Echo 2 minus 1. Control Shift 5 to make that a percentage. Hold H is in Hotel 0, H is in Hotel 0. And that gets you to the 25% accretion percentage. All H is in Hotel, B is in Bravo, A is in Alpha to make that with orders. All 8 to make this all light blue. And then I'm gonna alternate the rows to make it look visually appealing. You can use function F4 to repeat the last task. Control plus to zoom that in, but it takes it too far. So I'll zoom it back out. And so that's what you do. That's how you calculate this. All W's in whiskey, F's in Foxtrot. F is in Foxtrot to freeze the first row and first column. Do a, one last spell check to make sure everything's good. Take this knowledge into the marketplace to better understand accretion dilution models and Microsoft Excel. Have a phenomenal day. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, leave a comment below. And please buy my books. The links to those will be in the description of this video.